traveling to Nepal. Welcome back, everyone, to another Grand Valley ECAC Club Sports Stream. Today, we're hitting you with that Overwatch game. It's week five. You got your Grand Valley State Lakers going against Friars Overwatch over at Providence College. I'm your wonderful host, as always, Josie Coastal or JJ. Today, Maria Moon is not quite joining us right now, but it is okay. She'll be here just a little on later down the road. Looks like our first map today is going to be Nepal. This is a control map, so both the teams are going to tag it from either side. Let's see what comps are going to be running today. It looks like yeah. looks like we're going to get our double hit scan. Yeah. Young and Rude doing really well in his Hanzo so far this season. Inks on the Cassidy. Looks like a comp we see a lot from Grand Valley. We do have the Hog and Hulk combo, the Orisa Roadhog tank line, along with Anna and Bap. Batiste. Okay, looks like Parasite's gonna switch over to Lucio here first for Sanctum. A lot of environmental kills could be on the board here. See if Young is gonna find an opening pick like he always does. Good sonar. Oh, big sonar! Gonna spot out all of the members of Fire's Overwatch. Wrapping around, so we have... Look at that, the teams have wrapped around. Pretty much across the entire map. So they, yeah, they've switched sides. Oh, but they're trying to flank them around. And Young Inward with the opening pick, just like I said. On to Lucio. Holding the cheek angle. Looks like Grand Valley gonna be the first to take point control. And they've got this setup. They want Fire's to push into them. They're taking fight, but that's a big Maywell. It's gonna close off Bobby Face. Looks like he stays alive due to the immortality field. He's gonna get HPGO. Young Red finds one more and the DMEC. Tixon finds one. Tixon finds two, just like that. First point cap goes away of Grand Valley, just like that. It's gonna be starting to take up. Approaching almost 20%. So so far so good from Grand Valley. Not very mishap not very many mishaps early, which is a good sign. Looks like no one went down in that fight, so that's a good start. Oh, but big Maywell. It's going to close off Parasite. Is he going to stay alive? Yeah, Young Inward, is the Dragon Strike, it's going to close him off. Parasite does go down, but they get the pick on a Dettori. So just one support traded up for each time. Each team. Immortality Field that Andreas goes down. The, May oh, the Maywell again. Going to pick off Flabby Face. Maywell's from the side of Friday's Overwatch, finding two great picks on this push. Ace of the Deadeye. Is he going to find anything with it? Maywell closing him off. Okay, and Friars Overwatch do take the point. Inks is just gonna look for his poke with the Cassidy shots. Looks like the respawns of Parasite and Flabbyface are back. Looks like it's gonna be Grand Valley sure to try and take the point. They did get 51%, but like that, the Matrix Inks gets one, Andreas gets another, Young River finds one on Awoodi. Both immortality field, both immortality fields down for each team. And there's the DMAC Ares down. It's just one, it's the Lucio. The Tori goes down. And then, okay, and there's Soliviera down. So point point cap for Grand Valley. Control back on their side. And they're gonna start to set up at this choke. It worked well for them last time. They, were, they managed to take a 1-1 one, one trade, but then Flabby Face went down. Hexen with that whole hog. Is he gonna pop it? Can't find the hog and there's the whole hog! Oh, it's gonna stall out the shadow on the side of Friars. Oh, but there's the blizzard from fires and there's the dead eye. Oh, Texan gonna get frozen by that. He's gonna go down. Andreas out now. Ink swept his dead eye. Didn't quite find anything with it. Woody with three big picks. All the members of Grand Valley falling. But nonetheless, 90% now for Grand Valley. And Providence only getting up to 27%. So Grand Valley's gonna get at least a few more pushes at this. A lot of ults dumped into that engage. But look at that. One ult for just about each roll. So they have the Dragon Strike, they've got the Sound Barrier, and they have the Supercharger. Oh, big Maywall. Gonna catch out Texan. But there's the M Matrix and the Deta and the Dragon Strike. Picks traded out now. Ink's not finding anything. Oh, finds one with the Fan the Hammer. M Matrix traded up for each team. Parasite with a boop on the Swampy. There we go. There's the environmental kill. Looks like it. Tatori's gonna fall. Ares is down. 91%, 8, 7, 6, do Friars have a touch? Reinhardt's coming in. Looks like Parasite's just going to try and poke and stall out 1% left, and they don't get it. So point one on Nepal going to Grand Valley. Oh, 
so far so good here for the Lakers. They're up 1-0. They've got, you know. They're going to switch for the Ryan Zarya comp here. Good, good, ma uh, good point for, for everyone, honestly, in Grand Valley. Very mechanically sound game. Both sides playing fairly well in that engage. But again, that Dragon Strike from Young Inward was big. So good. We're going to see the Sim Soldier. So that's an interesting switch. And they're going to try and teleport. They're going to try and rush to the side. They brought the Lucio and the Rhine. They just want to get onto this point and take control. Young Inward's going to shoot through this Reinhardt shield pretty well. Just like that, HVJL goes down. Young Inward getting work done early. Fluffyface is going to engage. Him and Texan are just going to walk down the, the stairs and slam into the face of Providence. And look at that. Four picks. Five technically because they had the opening pick onto the Reinhardt. And just like that, again, Grand Valley starting off with a good engage, good opening. And they take point cap first. Decent ultimate treasure. Look, look at that. 72% already on the Reinhardt for Texan. Friars didn't get any picks there, so they're not going to have a lot of ult charge. Again, another big Maywall. But Texan still finds the pick on his Swampy. Mortality field down now. Good job from Andreas keeping up his Reinhardt. Fabi Face gets one on the HBJO. Andreas trying to look at getting that DPS Batista action, but Young Inward finds two. Gets three. So good defense of the attack. And look at that. Yeah, one ultimate, two ultimates. The shatter used for Texan in that gauge. But Fluffy Face has his uh, Graviton Surge too. Not a, not, not a lot of great combos with it this time around. Obviously Young Inward. No more Dragon Strike on the Symmetra. Opting in for the shield instead. The sh uh, Photon Barrier. Andreas with an Ant Matrix. They, they're going to have Ant Matrix Tack Wizard for this fight. Oh, there's the Ant Matrix. And there's the Photon Barrier. May will trade it out, but the Shadow's gonna get the pick on the Young Inward. So one DPS down, but it doesn't matter. Tac Visor, Fabi Face, and Texan all putting in work. Texan with a double Fire Strike kill. Just like that, 70% already. None for Friars, 73 for Grand Valley. And they still have that Graviton Surge, so they still down to there. So they're gonna have Grav Shatter, as well as uh, Sound Barrier. I just put a lot of ults in that fight, but they are going to have a few. Probably Blizzard, maybe a few DPS ults. Oh, but already Andre is down. Oh, Fluffy Face gets booped around, gets flashed. Is he going to get this grab off before he dies? He does. But is Texan going to come in with the Shatter? Sound Barrier goes down. Texan gets one. So there's the Ryan deal. Oh, but goes down. But Young Edward does get the DMAC on the Ares. Ares gets one out of mech. Gets the remech. Oh, but Inks was able to kill Ares before he gets in back in his mech. It's all up to Inks and his supports. Is the DPS going to come through, or are they going to be pushed off the site? It does look like they're going to get pushed off for now. Woody finds one on a Parasite. Woody gets two. Traded out. Andreas gets a pick on a Woody. But, Friars do cap the point. Looking like they're going to want to try and take this as soon as possible. Like, they're not pulling out. They are lingering. They have this in Teleport. They have the quicker respawns. They're getting as aggro in this as they possibly can right now. Oh, but Ares gets the pick on a Texan. Gonna saw out this this engage for now. Obviously, you can't push without your Reinhardt or your main tank. So, a quick ultimate check. Oh, almost a uh, almost the Texan Shatter and an Inks Visor. Looks like they were close to an Ant Matrix as well. Oh, but they're gonna teleport right into sight. Is this gonna work out? Yeah, there's two. There's the tanks go in. Texan gets one at the Shatter. Parasite gets one too. So no Dead Eye kills coming out from Woody. Parasite gets a boot kill in a Tory. Parasite gets two. Oh, before dying to the, the self-destruct, but Texan able to save himself, and that's what they needed. Only one pick. It was the self-destruct finding Parasite, just like that. 99. Friars, Overwatch, and Parasite aren't going to get any touches. And just like that, Grand Valley goes up 2-0, taking Nepal, the control map. Going up to Providence early to see what our play of the game is. You could have, I bet it's Parasite's 3k. Oh, it's going to be Texan Shatter, I believe. In this corner. Yup. Yeah, the double the double fire strike kill. Got the DMAC and the kill on the baby diva on Ares.
nice and easy. Just how I like. Yeah, so Granville looked like they wanted a quick engage on both maps. They wanted to just take the site as quickly as possible, and that led to wins. They executed it well, and they couldn't really... They had the momentum, and they, you know, were able to get ultimate advantage early, and they used that to kind of propel them. Obviously, Providence taking some point percentage on both sites, but a very clean Nepal for Grand Valley, and we are head to a break. Welcome back to map 2 of ECAC Overwatch for our Lakers. Looks like it's going to be Route 66 this time around. They took map 1, Nepal. Uh, it was a very clean map. It was a swift 2-0. Providence really couldn't get anything going. And Grand Valley just had a lot of momentum the entire time. Um, I'm your host, as always, Josie Coastal. And now I am joined by Maria Moon. She Hello. is here for us for map 2. Just in time. Let's see what we're working with. Got double shield with Bap Ana and then you know we're gonna Hanzo and then Inks on Soldier. We saw I see any, Yeah, I don't see anything I don't see anything wrong with this. Pretty normal. Probably gonna hold high ground. Yep, yeah, probably on top of the gas station. Um Oh yeah. We saw a very similar come to this come out for Nepal Sanctum, Young Inward and or Young Inward on the Hanzo. And we saw the Batiste for Andre, yes. Um but we did see the Lucio and the um, Hog Sigma come out, or uh, sorry, Roadhog Arisa come out for that point, instead of the Sigma and the Ana. So yeah, we do see this set up on top of the gas station. They're gonna let Providence probably get around the choke, or at least to the corner, or maybe the bridge. At least the bridge, and then they might drop down. We will see. I do see the Arisa from the Friars as well. Might be double shield on their side. It is double shield with Sigma and Arisa. Young Inward already finding the opening pick. Oh, but Dettori on the mercy, so she's so she's gonna get rezzed. Oh, we see the double hit scan. Ash Cassidy coming out, but it doesn't matter. Texan shutting down the Cassidy of Woody. They're just destroying that shield. That shield break that Grand Valley has is a little bit too much with the Hanzo, Hanzo Soldier combo. Ugh, not quite finding the pick there on the low HP, Risa. Ooh, Ash in this bottom corner. These Sigma Orbs are gonna get some good damage. Youngin was gonna push it, and there's the headshot. Very clean, yeah. So it looks like the push is gonna be stalled off for now. Grand Valley with the stout hold, obviously just getting them to the corner. Oh, big sonar arrow. Love the pre-fire there for Froppy Face. Oh, there's the dragon for Young and Rude, and they're bar they're they're ba uh, they're barreled in here. Oh, can't quite get the pick. Okay, Texan gets the go. gets the kill. Young and Rude pick on Ash. Fortunately, Ash does get res, but so I'll be done. But Tatori again with another res. Looks like he used it off a of cooldown there. Rezzed the Arisa yeah. early. Oof, unfortunate. <laughs> But, despite that, still two minutes stalled out here and not much point progress. Oh, and Matrix coming out already, almost picking off Texan, but they've got the Immortality field. Finds one on the Mercy. 
So both sides trading picks there. But it, it looks like because of that trade, they aren't going to be able to engage. Oh, they're going to catch out Orisa underneath the gas station. Look at that. Both tanks down for Providence. Both tanks down for, for Providence for the Friars. Um, and again, not much point progress. They only got it up to about the other side of the gas station. And already a minute and a half left. A lot of time burned out. Might have two or three more fights left in them. Depending how long this one goes on for. Probably face pops this shit down with that supercharger. We do, yeah, we do have supercharger, so maybe when they pull around this corner, we're gonna see it. There it is! Mortality Field coming out early, taking a bite Inks, and Young Inward with the pick on it, HBJO. Oh, and what a long range shot from Woody. Woody didn't think Young Inward saw him there, but he did and found the head. Gonna swing around with the sonar. Can he get this pick on Ash? Gets a body shot. It gets some healing. Oh, hits it with the dynamite. With the dynamite. Is he gonna try and poke up and hit this head? I think he's gonna go for it. Oh, good sonar dart. I, I, he's, he's, uh, that flick was so clean. He, he, yeah, he does. Young Edward does have dragon though. Yeah, and he's gonna do it. As they barrel down in this tunnel, he's gonna pop it. Is. Gonna get a lot of damage out, but Bob from Swampy. Oh, but there's the pick on HP Joe. He did get the supercharger off, but it doesn't matter. Young Edward with two. Oh, goes down to the, the dynamite. But it doesn't matter. Fluffy face with the pick. And a, and a good pocket on it for Parasite. So Fluffy face is gonna stay up. Parasite is well with us, on on his way back. Looks like they're gonna try and stop them from getting the point. And Matrix come out. Oh, they, they got the, the, the Munson. And he's gonna make it to the point. Okay, so there's a stall for Providence. Oh, there's the pick. No res. Inks has the tech visor. Looks like this is gonna fend off pretty much everyone from sight. Him, Parasite, cleaning up. And a stout 55 meters allowed. Just denied. Good effort by Friars, though. Trying to just sneak around just to pick off Young Inward, but those stunner arrows are just getting him every single time. Looks like we are on the attack now, of course. We're just on defense. And no ticks allowed for Providence. Um, that was a stout hold, oh, honestly. Yeah. Um, they were... I think I saw any from... They were playing a... Or, young and were dead in that last fight. Mm. Um, Very true. But, you know, Providence were running the, d the mirror, the double shield comp. But Grand Village had a better setup on top of that gas station. And they played it really well. They didn't really move. And they dove when they absolutely needed to. And they played around their shields, the Arisha shield and the Sigma shield, and just let their hit scan do the work. It looks like we are getting dive for, for attack, though. I think even both. Looks I like it. We you. do see this on attack a lot. So, yeah, this this wins, this, this Wrecking Ball Diva comp um, with the Genji Ana and the Mercy Echo. Yep. Let's see if they're going to stick to this now. Um, I this is a good comp to stay on. No, we'll see what Friars are running. Not sure what, what they're scheming over there. Young Inward on his Echo. Not on a hit scan roll this time around. Looks like they're going to stick to this comp. So Young yeah, Inward is going to take to this guy's. There we go. And they're going to get this, this payload moving early. I'm expecting double shield again from the Friars, but honestly... Probably. With that set up on top of the gas station. Says it worked yeah, so well for Grand Valley. I, yep. Yeah. Okay, so there's the Risa. There's the Sigma Rock. We saw some... Some shield shots there. But Texan already going in. They've got the dive on this Orisa. Mortality field out early. And it's going to go down. Inks with the pick on the HBJO. Texan is in their back line. Free real estate. Andreas has the res though. Great res. Great res. Good slam by Texan. And look at that. Pillow is already approaching the destination. They're that close. Inks with the pick on the Detori. And just like that, they're going to have to stay on the Inks with another one. Oh, but Woody with the Helix Rocket kills, but he's not going to get close enough. Texan gets the kill, and just like that, a quick, swift dub on Route 66. Those slams by Texan is a little bit too much for Double Shield to really fend off. Just rolling through. Oh, we're going to get the support play of the game. Yes. Is it the Nano? Yeah, it's the Nano on the Texan. And the shutdown on the Tori. Oh, and the sleep, too. Oh, that sleep was nasty. Beautiful. Just, mm, mwah. Oh, yes. Ana played the game. Healer played the game. So, 2-0 so far for Grand Valley Lakers. 
um, taking Route 66 and Nepal was map one. So it looks like our next point should be double assault. And it is. It looks like the map pick for Friars is going to be Volskaya Industries. So this is, this is a map that Grand Valley are tried and true on. Every time we've casted their game, I feel like they play Volskaya. They choose to set up on their back right high ground. The rotates on it are clean. I genuinely think whenever they start on defense, they have not allowed uh, a first cap point. They've allowed ticks, like one or two. But whenever they set up, no, I've never seen a full cap like, A site on Volskaya for the Lakers defense. And it is going to be Volskaya. So no break this time around for map three. We're going right into you for you guys. Yeah, I'm just expecting the setup, like, right high ground, just defense, which I'm very excited for. Probably we'll see young N-word on Hanzo again, because his Hanzo was killing it on Volskaya last time. Yes, we usually see the, the double shield, so Arisa Sigma probably is going to be the assumption um, yeah, with a I'm Hanzo. Again. There it is. Yep, and then probably <laughs> the exactly right. Lucio. I, I, they usually Lucio. run this come with the Lucio, I feel. For Volskaya, at least. Yeah. But yeah, again, the double shield, the Hanzo. Yeah, there's, okay, there's a the Lucio. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we got the team right. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So this is the comp that Grand Valley feel most comfortable on, at least at the moment, they love this, this comp on Volskaya. Again, they usually tend to set up on this right side near that lamp pole, in this back right corner, and then they let Young Inward usually sit on this middle platform or in the back left and just kind of wreak havoc, as well as Inks. Yeah, Inks on this back left is dangerous. So we'll see if Providence are able to dismantle this stout Grand Valley I think, defense. I think I kind of saw a dive comp there from Friars. It looked like it. Oh, there's the D.Va. So D.Va and Reinhardt. So this is going to be Brawl comp. It looks like they're going to try and take point as quick as possible. Looks like they had another Mercy as well. They do. So yeah, so Friars are going to just score and take the point. Going back to the May on Nepal. Where's Wolf and Mustang? The May walls were there. They just didn't cap on him. But look at that. Young Inward. Finding... The Hanzo oh, diff. Oh, but Swampy yeah. finds the refrag. Okay, and I and Grand Valley are gonna rotate off to the other side as Friars take that high ground. It looks like it's gonna get a point cap. They've got two on point. Bobby face is gonna get not. Oh, not quite. So he's gonna find the pick on a Swampy. So the trade's coming out now. But one tick already for Providence. Oh, but the pick's coming through. Texan finds one. Bobby face gets two. There's the DMAC. And just There's like that, the tank on line. The pick on Cassidy just... Tank and healer line just plowing through them. Big tank line stand there. Texan and Fabi didn't fall. They played around their high ground and their objective. And they the movement around it was great. They were able to stay alive. And by the time, you know, a few picks had come out, they were able to just come in and clean up. It's a great rotate by Grand Valley, though. Just... Once they saw them coming around the right, they just cleaned her to the left and just took care of business by dropping down. Looks like he's finding some pot shots as Providence are going to rotate up again to the high right side. But again, yeah, Grenville are just going to wrap around, opt in for their, their long range. Oh. Could have found one on the HBJ, so no more Reinhardt. Young Inward gets two. Him from long range is just finding the picks. But Inks with the double attack visor kill, and Ares is going to reset. So a lot of ultimates coming out there. Yeah. We do have both tank ults, though. We also have, almost have um, beat as well from Parasite. I'm expecting the May ult coming out from Friar's side. We haven't seen that yet. Again, another sonar ult dart. Or sonar arrow, sorry. Been playing too much Valorant. Uh, <laughs> But that's gonna call this gonna call it this rotate and looks like they're gonna opt in for this high left side again. So last time they tried to do this, they tried to take the point directly. But again, this poke from Grand Valley with the Orisa and the long range hit scans. You see the supercharger come out from Flabby Face though. And also the uh, Dark Knock from Texan. Finds one, knocks off two. Kills the May. May falls off, but gets the blizzard off. But nothing came out of it, Woody. But Inks with the refrag. Last one alive is going to be Lucio. <laughs> he goes down to the sonar arrow of Young Inward. 
60 seconds remaining here for Providence. So I think Providence are going to have a few ults. Oh, look at that. They've switched to dive. So we get the Hanzo Diva or the Winston Diva, Tracer, Echo. And Echo. So this is another up close and personal comp. This is going to be a close quarters fight comp here. And look at the Tracer's already up wreaking havoc in their back line. Oh, but look at the, oh, but look at the DPS in this long range. They're both up on this high left, this uh, high left ground. Uncontested. And that poke is gonna allow the tanks and the supports to just sit up there despite the dive. So we the tanks and the supports are just gonna be able to tank the damage, and the DPS are just gonna sit there and damage them from long range. And it's gonna push yeah, Providence it's off. Left. It's go time now for Friars. Just like yeah, it, there, there's the, the dive. Oh, but Parasite has the dive. D comes out. There's the engage. Young Edward finds one. With another dragon. This dragon should deny point. Oh, but he doesn't need it. And that is going to be a... Not quite a full hold. Only one tick allowed. But no, no first cap allowed for Providence. Like we said again. You can't beat this, this Volskaya defense. Yeah, just the way they rotate it. They see the enemy coming on to the right high ground. Very good. I think I smile a little inside every time I see the opposing team want Volskaya for their double double assault point, their map. Like, oh. And you're like, huh, you don't even know what you're getting into. Poor thing. For attack, I don't know, maybe double shield again, but I'm just expecting like full brawl. I think we had dive last time, so it'll be interesting to see if they they choose to run it again. I'm expecting that. Never there it is. There's the ball, Echo, Genji, Tracer, Ana, and Mercy. You know, I wonder if we're gonna see the pattern stick. Last time we casted Volskaya. The first time we casted Volskaya, the opposing team opted for double shield Bastion, and it didn't work. Last time we casted Volskaya, they ran double shield Bastion, and it didn't work. And this is the same comp we see. This is we see, we've seen this comp every time Grand Valley is attacked by Volskaya. So I'm very curious to see if, if Providence are gonna run the Bastion again. <laughs> it'll be it'll be funny if they did. Oh, I really hope. I guess we will see though, because if there's a Bastion, Ace is going to be on that. Oh, there's the Arisa set up. Oh, we see the Torbjorn! Okay, so we saw the Soldier Torbjorn, so not quite the Bastion we were expecting, but something very similar. Mini Bastion. But again, the easy counter of this is for to let Texan do his thing and just dive up onto the point. So turret and Immortality Field down already. Texan's in their back line, taking a lot of damage and goes down to Hakeem, so good pick there. But Inks with one on the HBJO. Oh, he's gonna go for the res. Does he have it? Yeah, he does. So the wrecking ball of Texan back into the fight. Inks getting the pick on a Woody, but it doesn't matter. Look how many picks came out for Providence in that fight. Plus four. It's all up to Inks now. He goes down. And just like that, Texan gives the reset. And that is gonna be one good defense from Providence. So a minute burned off the clock already. Is they still have to wait for their main tank of the Wrecking Ball to come back. So, yeah, some decent, some, ult, so some decent ult charge decide. though. Maybe, maybe Young and we're gonna whip out that Echo ult, maybe the Texan with his proximity might But I feel well. like in that fight, Providence had to have gotten a few ults. A few people with Providence popped off in that oh, fight. Oh yeah, I had a second board to an ult, like... Oh, Ares goes uh, down with the purple, but Texan goes down and trades his life out for it. Well. Andreas goes Andreas down to the yeah, tech visor of Swampy. Inks is solo, one shot he's dead, but he gets out. But it doesn't matter. Flabby face, Inks solo. All the picks were there. So yeah, again, two minutes. Push not quite working. I think Grand Valley gives us one more push with the ultimates they have. If it doesn't work, they might switch into a Winston comp maybe. Mm -hmm. Try and get that quick engage. Might see the Nano Ball, Nano Diva this fight. Maybe Nano Blade also. A lot of Nano choices here. Probably not the Nano Blade with the turret. There it is, okay, so there's the blade and there's the Nano Blade. Gets the Immortality Flight, gets two. Gets, two. gets the Supercharger. 
So two big picks. Is this soldier gonna go down? Uh, no, but oh, Inks gets a pick. Texan right. gets one. Young Inward gets another. And just like that, there's the attack successful. And there is gonna be map three. And that's a serious win for Grand Valley Lakers. We have yet to see Grand Valley lose on Volskaya. Yeah, this was the nano blade really, really sealed the fight. It really did. Immortality field down. Supercharger down. Yep. Tagging the soldier and then stopping the res. There's so much work there in that fight and that engage from Inks. The two games I saw, they played very nice today. Like, yeah, no, like very, very well. Always. Yeah. No complaints. Oh, looks like I'm going oh, back oh, in oh, for oh, a little oh, more. Oh, you're going back. <laughs> All right. But yeah, that is going to be week five of ECAC Overwatch for your Grand Valley Lakers. Thank you for joining us once again. I was your host and spectator, Josie Coastal, or JJ, joined by my lovely co-host. Maria Moon, also known as Maria. But yeah, we'll be back next week. Uh, we love casting these games for you guys. Um, if you enjoyed, feel free to, you know, hit us with that subscribe. Um, and uh, and <laughs> make sure to catch us next week on Wednesday or head over to our Twitch, also at GVSU esports club to catch all of our other sports we've got valorant we've got rocket league we've got call of duty for you guys as well as league of legends um on saturdays i believe but again thank you for joining and you all have a wonderful evening